Today I'm hosting a Flask app that I built on one of my latest videos on here on my YouTube channel. We built an image background remover website with Flask. So you put an image, it removes the background and gives you a download link. And I'm going to host that for free into a service called Render. So let's get straight into this. Okay, first I wanted to mention that my website or the Flask project is in my GitHub. I recommend you to put also your project into GitHub. So today if you want to host, it's going to be very simple if you have your project into GitHub. If you don't know what how to put a project in GitHub, just go to github.com, create an account, put a name here. You can have it public or private and then just create repository. And it will show you step by step how to put your files or your project inside this repository. You absolutely you should have git installed and then just run these commands in your terminal so git init add readme file commit then remote add origin which is this link here of your github repository and then you push all the files inside this repository and then you're gonna have a repository just like this one here that i have all the files this was the first thing the second is to if you are hosting a flask project make sure you are using wsgy because you are going to use g unicorn to host this in the server in your app for the host, you have to make sure it's 0.0.0.0. This means that the app is going to automatically choose the host of the server. And also the port, you can put any port or but for me, I'll put 4000. You have to get the port from environment variables in this way. You can just copy this way and put the port here using environment variables or just leave it 4000 just like I put it here. Okay, if you have your project ready, just like this, and also you have requirements, of course, make sure you have G unicorn into your requirements too. Then we are going to host this into render.com. So just go to render.com. This is a website that will offer you free hosting and then just click on get started for free. And here create an account. I'll choose GitHub to create an account. If you have your project on GitHub too, just go ahead use GitHub. And after authorizing, it will show you this page. So you can host static sites like HTML sites that don't have any function, but you can go with web services just like full stack or APIs. Just like I have mine Flask, but it could be Django, it could be Node.js app, it could be React, it could be Next.js, it could be Ruby or any other language that, that supports and, and creates web services. And this is the option that we'll choose. So new web service. And here we'll show you all the repositories that you have on GitHub. I'm going to choose mine, which is image background remover website and click connect. After you click connect, it will automatically detect that is a Python web app. The language will be Python 3. Here I'll leave it master. You can change the region of the server if you want. I'll keep I'll put it on Europe, Frankfurt. Then for the build command, make sure to have pip install r requirements.txt. And also for the start command, we have to use g unicorn. Instance type will be free because we don't want to pay. But if you want to pay for more speed and more features, just go ahead and choose your plan. The next in the environment variables, we have to put the port. So just type here port and the port will be 4000 or you can put any number but 4000 will work for you. And then just click on deploy web service. Now it will create it and it will clone all the files from repository. Then it will run all the commands that we, we just mentioned. Like as you can see, it's installing all the requirements that we have for our Flask app. And then after installing requirements, we'll, de we'll deploy and build this app and we'll run the run command, which is the G, G unicorn command. During building process, you can see that this is our link for the website. But if I visit it right now, it is not going to work because it's not built yet. So let's wait for the build project to be finished. Okay, so we have built successful. We'll also show you some logs about node version because it thinks that you are using node, but don't worry, you just ignore this logs. Okay, here it shows our running G Unicore WSGI app up here. And you can see here's a link of our web service. And if you click on it, it successfully opens. So this is my website, remove background from image. And it's it was a Flask website that we built in the latest videos here on my channel with Flask. And you can see here the link, it's from the server. It's not locally, it's here on server and it's hosted and everyone can access it from this website. Okay guys, here we go. As you can see, we hosted the Flask app for free into render.com and you can host any other app just like Flask. You can use also Django. You also know JS app or maybe a Java app or just go to render.com, choose the free tier or the free service and just host it there for free. Okay, this was for today. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you tomorrow with a new video. Peace.